did you know that by gaining insight into your journey, you recognize the roles that others play? By understanding your journey, enhances your ability to forgive. And forgiveness creates a special sanctuary in our minds, an oasis, a hiding place for our true selves. Thank you for joining me. My name is Vani and I am the Tarot Tattler. Now Taurus, let's dive right into today's tattle. I don't just give you your tattle, I'm following your story, Taurus. So in your hopes, the Four of Wands, this talks about stability. This talks about some kind of celebration. It could talk about a special soulmate connection. And Taurus, it sits in your hopes. And what you are hoping for is that you are able to balance this with justice. It's about going into our mind space and understanding that we have a role to play. It's in accepting that role that we have to play and know that we are not alone in this. There are energies that surround us and they too have their path. So you're trying to find some kind of stability and you're hoping that it's going to be something that's balanced to Taurus. Now the energy that's playing out in your mind space as you hoping for this balance is that you have absolutely no idea what comes next. You may not even know what form justice takes because Taurus, if you want to forget about fate and destiny for a moment and consider that each person is right from their own perspective, then something that we may have perceived as wrong in the past could actually be right in your fears is the devil, Taurus. Now the devil symbolizes our ability to accept the fact that we are not all good. There are parts about ourselves that we are ashamed of. We won't bring that part out of us when others are around as far as possible. We try to hide it. Now imagine, Taurus, that whatever it is we are feeling, the person standing next to us is going through exactly that, afraid to show their true selves. Wow, Taurus. What you are afraid of is that you are going to be focused on recognition, maybe fame, maybe getting well known. So it sits in your fears and Taurus, there might have been something that has started up in your current environment and you are fearing that it's going to have all of your attention. What you should know, Taurus. Wow, next to the Four of Wands, we're talking about a home. Happy home. With the Ten of Pentacles, we could be talking about a large sum of money. We could be talking about a long-term investment. But this is having built up your stability in the physical world. And what's in your hidden position, Taurus? You could be moving home. You could be buying a new home, Taurus. Wow. What's in your hidden position is a whole lot of communication coming towards you. Now, Taurus, you've had this communication in your hidden position 
in one of your readings this week. If you've received this message, please let me know in the comments. This talks about back and forth communication regarding a home, a long-term commitment, something that is over the airwaves. Wow, Taurus. The stability for this home, your foundation, is this new ace of wands in your current environment. This is a brand new venture, something that touches your heart, it speaks to your mind space, it invokes your creativity, and it is something you're going to be able to celebrate. And here is you waiting, waiting for some kind of balance to be able to see both sides of the coin, Taurus, the energy that's balancing you in your current environment, while what it is you don't see coming is something you're just not going to believe, Taurus. It might have flitted through your mind, but you may not have considered it as an option In your physical world, the Knight of Wands, now this showed up in your mind space. This is an energy of impulsiveness, of being able to celebrate each day with a new energy. It's the kind of energy, if you understand it, you'd want to bottle. Because with this energy, there is only now, no yesterday, no tomorrow. It is an everlasting kind of energy. Wow, two nights. And in your current environment, you are courting some kind of fame, maybe to be known to some extent, maybe hoping to be popular hoping to be heard. It's where your energy is currently, Taurus, and it's the energy that's supporting you in your current environment. Now this could be a proposal coming towards you, Taurus. Wow, something that you will court <laughs> in your mind space. What you should know is that you're going to be up in your head. You may even have a few sleepless nights, Taurus, considering this new venture, considering your long-term commitments, your long-term stability. It has you up in your head for a reason, Taurus. It is within that thought process that you have that you are going to be able to come up with ideas and turn into the magician, as we've seen in your readings. Wow. A sudden ending. Now, Taurus, this is sitting in your hidden position. This is something you don't know. With the Eight of Wands, this communication talks about a sudden, unexpected ending. With the tower, it's the foundations of what was, has come off. And something new is going to take its place. Wow, Taurus. In your past, was a king of pentacles. Now, Taurus, this could have been you. Having that Midas touch. Having that firm foundation for this ace that is now in your current environment, it is here with the King of Pentacles. It's someone who is good with tangible resources. He has a firm understanding and belief in himself. And with the Nine of Wands, this is a card of protection 
of being able to build with his stability. Now this could be a female with masculine energy and, and vice versa. But being able to build a barrier to stand behind. Now Taurus, this talks about a period of time where you might have been on the other side of the fence, waiting, waiting for an investment, waiting for a long term, some kind of material stability in the physical world. But both cards are, are waiting. The energy that's taking you, wow, into the next phase, Taurus, is this Three of Wands. The ace that you transformed into the Three of Wands. This is watching your ships come in. Whatever this venture is, is something that might be international, Taurus. Wow. It keeps coming up. Your Whatever it is you are working on. Now, Taurus, I've seen in, in a couple of your readings that it isn't going to be easy. It's going to need all of your energy. And I think that in the recent past, you would have had all of the energies to prepare you for this. Lots of things happening at the same time. You being able to test your resilience, your strength, your ability to manage more than one task at the same time. And what's taking you into the future, Taurus, is something that you don't know. Something you don't know. It's sitting in your mind space. That's what you're considering. Those two bits of information that you know is missing. Now this is talking about not having all of the information revealed here in your current environment, acting without knowing all of the information. That is life, Taurus. Wow, and where it is you're headed is to someone who loves you very much, Taurus. With the King of Cups, we could be talking about um, a Scorpio, a Pisces, um, or a Cancer. This is a king who has balanced his energies. He's someone who's unconditionally accepting of others and he leads with that stance. So whatever's been revealed leads you directly to love, Taurus. Someone who's possibly going to give you some kind of romantic gesture in the physical world. Maybe go out on a date. Wow. What you should know, Taurus, is that your worry is unnecessary. You stand on your empire. The cycle that's changing will have you feeling as though everything has turned in your favor. And, wow, what you don't see is all of this motion, two cards of very quick, fast motion between a sudden, unexpected change. Now, Taurus, someone is heading towards you at quite a speed. This must be, this might be preceded by communication, messages, talking about Something that has ended suddenly, unexpectedly. This could be moving suddenly. And in your outcome, Taurus, it is your creation. This is talking about some kind of creation. Something that is steeped in gold, Taurus with the King of Pentacles over it. Now with the Seven of Wands, this is a card we draw 
when we are in creative mood, we have been inspired and during this period artists usually have the best pieces. It's a period of time where you are protected from the rest of the world in order to be able to create. And with the Five of Cups, it's actually the Ace. Again, not being able to see the, the love that's there, Taurus. There is a special love in your current environment, one that you are not seeing. It was, it's because you are so focused on your creation. So as a result, you're not seeing it and you're not seeing it for a reason. The energy that's going to balance you out in, in the future Taurus is it's going to ask you to choose. Choose what makes you truly happy. Because when you draw the Eight of Cups, you are already happy. You're looking for that one extra cup that's going to bring you total emotional fulfillment. So when you draw the Eight of Cups, it's, it's from a happy space. But you're going in search of your sun, Taurus. Here, you look in that direction. Walk towards whatever it is you are creating. And whatever the Two of Swords is in your mind space keeps coming out in your in your reading as information that's not known. And this is quite a bit of information. Some of it refers to arcane knowledge, Taurus. Some of it could be a tarot reading, letting us know what's coming towards us without giving us a clear picture. With judgment, all of that is about to change, Taurus. Wow, with the Queen of Cups, this is someone you love very much, Taurus. He's your Ace of Cups. It's a new love. Now, in some instances, this may not be romantic, even though we've pulled the Knight of Cups. This might be someone in your family. This could be children, Taurus. But someone who's matching your energy completely. And under the deck is the world. The world signifies the closing out of a cycle, success, victory. So Taurus, I wish you all the best. And until your next tattle, bye for now.